this recipe today that I'm using is a very old recipe. It comes from a, a paperback book that I got back in the early, well, actually the late, the late 80s. Um, and it just had a plain muffin uh, recipe in it. Just, just a plain basic muffin. You could serve it with dinner. You know, it had no fruit in it. No, not even any cinnamon. I don't even think there's any vanilla in it. No, it's just plain. I do remember making them, making them a couple times and uh, thinking they were good. I mean, they're just basic. They're absolutely basic. So I have held on to that recipe. Recipes like that, to me anyway, are gold because just think of the possibilities. So I've held on to that recipe for so many years and I've used it for so many things, unbeknownst to anyone. And so today I am using that sweet little recipe once again, but today I am gonna show you all kinds of ways <laughs> that I'm playing around with this recipe and I'm gonna show you a little secret weapon to making muffins. If you don't feel like 12 of the same kind of muffins or 24, however many the, the uh, recipe makes, you can make any kind of muffin you want, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it all in the oven at the same time, and they're all gonna come out, and you're gonna have a basket full of all kinds of muffins. And keep in mind now, these are eggless, okay? So let me show you something. You see these guys? <laughs> we don't need you. We don't need you, Mr. Egg. I don't care how expensive you get. We can still make delicious baked goods without them, so there. My recipe starts today with a little bit of melted coconut oil, and to that, just put your sugar right on top of it. Here I'm gonna add a little bit of my own homemade vanilla, and to that I always like to add just a dash, about an eighth of a teaspoon maybe, of some almond extract. It is such a wonderful combination. Add so much to your baked goods. And don't forget a little bit of milk. Today I've chosen to use canned milk, but you can use 2%, whatever you like. And here's the star of the show, the yogurt. And I'm using vanilla yogurt today. That vanilla just adds even more beautiful flavor to this incredibly delicious and moist and delicate, wonderful muffin that we're making today. Give it a good stir. Let's go on to our dry goods now and scoop out that flour. Don't pack your flour too tight because sometimes you'll get a wrong measurement and your batter will actually come out a little too thick. If that's the case, which is mine later on in the video, as you'll see, I do have to add just a little splash more of milk. Be sure to add in your baking powders and your baking sodas and your salt, all those wonderful leaveners that um, work so well in a muffin or a cake and salt. You always have to have salt, whether it's for a baked good or a sweet or a savory. Salt is something we always just have to have. And then make sure you give everything a really good really good stir. You can always put it in a sifter if you like, but usually with a whisk, I find that that's all I need. And don't forget just a pinch of cinnamon to just put this right over the top. It is delicious. All right, let's go ahead and add the dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. Now, sometimes when you're working with coconut oil, just be forewarned, uh, you heat it up a little bit, just a little bit. I did like 30 seconds just to get it back to a liquid state because coconut oil is in a firm state generally when it's, uh, when it's cold, like above 72 I think it is, something like that. Anyway, um, sometimes if you quickly add something to it, like the cold milk I added to this or a cold egg of which we're not using today, but if that were the case, the yogurt was cold. The coconut oil seized up just a tad bit, and I mean just a little tiny bit. There were a couple little hard places here and there, but it's fine. You can see it's mixing together just beautifully. It is a very beautiful oil to work with, and it's so healthy and so delicious. And as soon as it, I mean the minute it hits that oven, it is absolutely no problem whatsoever. So if you're not working with coconut oil, please give it a try, and uh, let me know what you think. All right, I am gonna add just a smidge more, and that's like a tablespoon of my milk. I just thought it looked a little dry, and by adding you know, a tablespoon of some kind of liquid, I could have added the yogurt as well. Um, that helps it to be 
perfect. Sometimes I like my muffins and my cake batter to be a little thicker than other times, and sometimes I like them to be a little bit thinner and just a tad bit more. I'll have this all absolutely perfect for you down in those recipe sections below. All right, so let me go ahead and make a few of these just plain, just plain. We've not added anything else to the batter. It's just that plain original batter. Maybe I don't want a tray of all blueberry. Maybe I know people are coming and not everybody likes blueberry muffins, but they like other kind of muffins. Well, find out what they like and you can get it all done in one fell swoop. It works, it works every single time. I used to do this for my kids. Oh, they don't even realize it, but <laughs> I did it for my children all the time because of course they would want, um, you know, chocolate chip or marshmallow, whatever, you know, the things that they would want me to put in there, I'd put in there for them and that was just fine. All right, I think what I'll do, I'll leave just five like that and let me show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, my oven is ready, it's screaming at me. I'm gonna do all kinds of things here. I have a cranberry and orange preserve jelly here. I'm gonna do it, yes I am. I'm gonna take a little bit of it and I'm gonna put it right into one of the muffins, just like that, as much as I want. And I'm just gonna swirl it around. Okay, so that is gonna be a beautiful taste. A beautiful, beautiful taste. Oh, it's gonna be so delicious. How about a little rag? I always have a little rag with me when I'm fooling around in the kitchen. And that way you can just kind of wipe it off in between when you're done. Now, that fig and pig pizza I made the other day, I was left with some extra fig jam. So guess what? We're gonna have at least one fig muffin. Oh, yes we are. And I can't wait for that one to come out because that's gonna be delicious. Oh my goodness, that pizza was so good, guys. Oh, I hope you'll give it a try. I was thinking after I made it, what would have been good too? Would have been like a hot Italian sausage cooked and then all cut up with the chunks all over it. All right, there. And that uh, that jam will just um, melt in there. I'm gonna be a sticky mess. When you guys see me, I'm just glad you can't see me right now because right now I just put fig jam in my bang. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. All right, let's see, what else did I wanna do? Oh my goodness, of course. The old standby. Chocolate chips, you gotta have chocolate chips, right? All right, so we'll put some chocolate chips right in there. And I think I'll make a few of those because I have some people in my family who really like chocolate chips. So just go ahead and poke them down. Just take a little spatula or a little toothpick or the back of a spoon. All right, I wanna make some raisin, raisin cinnamon. So actually, whoops, get out of there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and push that raisin down as well. And there was one other kind that I wanted to make and I, because I made two chocolate chips, I goofed. So I'm gonna scoop myself out. One more little scoop of the original batter here. I'll put it right in here. Can y'all see this? I think so. But anyway, you can see how much fun I'm having. You can add coconut, you can add nuts of all kinds. And one of my favorite things in the world is cranberries. So I'm going to add some cranberry. I'm gonna push that down. Dried cranberries, those are dried, sweetened cranberries. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of an orange and just zest a tiny little bit just for the moment right now because I wanna take this orange and I wanna add it to the cranberry that I just put in there. Oh, it's gonna be so delicious. There's nothing better than cranberry and orange. I think it's probably my, my favorite my favorite combination. So one, two, three, four, five different kinds of muffins. And here we go with the star of the show, the blueberry muffins. All right, let's add in about half of those blueberries. And also I'm gonna go ahead and finish up zesting a little bit more of this orange because what is better with blueberries than either orange or lemon? But you know what, if you don't like any of these things, just leave them out. It's the basic muffin recipe that you're going for here. That's the most important thing. That's the takeaway from today. And then you just be, oh my goodness, as creative as you possibly can be.
Okay, while they are baking away in there, I wanted to um, I'm going to tell you something. I I love copper. I love copper. I have always had a thing for copper. My mom used to have these beautiful copper molds that she never used, but they were just for decoration and she had them up on the kitchen walls. We had a kitchen about this big, guys. So there was like just this little tiny bit of space where she would put these three, there were, I think there were three molds. I don't know what had happened to them. But um, anyway, I have a neighbor, a sweet neighbor that lives way behind me over there. She found out that I love copper and next thing I know, she has this great big bag full of old copper pots and whatnot sitting on her front porch for me to come and pick up. Well, you can imagine what a good time I had. <laughs> I wish I had taken uh, before, before I started cleaning them up and now and after. There's one I'm still working on, but um, I wanted to show you some of the goodies that she sent me and they are so, so pretty. Now, one of the pans I did by myself, uh, but the rest of them, they're all from her. All right, back here is the new pan that I just bought, and I'm so in love with it. It's just so pretty and so sparkly, and I have already cooked up a storm in there. It's just beautiful. The one next to it, you know how I used to have that little pot, which I still have, but the little potpourri pot? Um, I kind of wanted a little bit of a bigger one, and this one is definitely bigger, and it's hot. And excuse my arm, please. I'm so sorry. It also has a sweet little lid that comes to it. And this is from my neighbor. This was one of the pots from her. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It's that gorgeous hammered. And some of these are really, really old. Very, very old. Apparently her father-in-law was a chef, a baker. And he used all copper, all these things. They're way back to like the 50s and the 60s. So you know I'm thrilled. And then this one up front, look at this beauty. Look at the brass here. I mean, this thing is like built like a tank. It is so pretty, so shiny, so beautiful. It was actually fun cleaning up. And it has this beautiful lid that comes with it. It's all stainless on the inside. And I am making dinner in this tonight. And I can't wait. <laughs> This is a very, very old copper French mold. And it is part stainless and it is part uh, copper. And I absolutely adore it. It is so beautiful to look at. And I was thinking, I need you guys to be perfectly honest with me. I'm trying to figure out what to put back here in this big expanse of white now. Remember how it used to be black with, the, with, with this countertop black back there? And now it's white and I thought hmm I know it's gonna be a little hard for you guys to tell but what if I hung this with that little ring right there over my stove just kind of like that I don't know where exactly it will it'll go but what do you think what do you think what do you think that will look like I need I need you I need you to tell me I think I told you guys that I was getting some new glasses. Now you guys don't see me wear my glasses very often. Um, I need them for far away. So usually when I'm working in the kitchen, you know, doing video work and stuff, I don't really need my glasses on, but here's the old glasses. All right, this is what I look like with glasses on and I know the lights are glaring everywhere and you can see circles in my glasses <laughs> and now they're fogging up. Well, this is great. Well, see, that's cute, right? Not really, I've had them a long time. All right, so here's what I got. See if you can tell any difference and see if you think, just let me know what you think. Just tell me the truth, thumbs up, thumbs down. It doesn't matter to me, whatever. All right, here's my new ones. All right, a little bit more of a cat's eye, a little bit more, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> That's why you're my friends, you, you guys tell me. Yeah, okay, they're cute, right? I like them, I really do like them. They're bigger, I, could, I can actually see better. Yeah, I, I kind of like them. All right, let me show you, and then I will show you. I think this is my favorite, and this is what I spent the most money on, so they better be cute. You better tell me they're cute. They're my sunglasses, uh, Dolce Cabana sunglasses, and um, 
of course, I had no idea what that, I mean, I know Dolce Cabana, but I did not know that they were that when I was buying them until she rang them up and I was already in love with them. So <laughs> here we go. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Yeah, I think these are pretty sharp. I think I'm keeping these. I was a little worried about the gold. You know, there was a lot of gold and stuff in them. And I, fortunately, I do have gold earrings on today. But sometimes I wear silver. And I wear my little pearls sometimes too. So, but anyway, what do you think? Let me know. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You guys are so brutally honest sometimes. And that's, of course, I always say, that's why I love you so much. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining me today in my kitchen. I had so much fun in here today. It was just, you know, sometimes it's just fun to be in your kitchen and sometimes it's not. Well, today was. I mean, I really enjoyed making those muffins. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, I think they are so pretty. I can't wait to get them out of the pan and into a muffin, a little uh, muffin bowl that I have and just put them out on the kitchen counter and just let my husband be surprised and he can pick any kind of muffin he wants. Isn't that nice? that you spent all that time in the kitchen and you made more than just one kind of muffin. No, there is actually a multi-choice here that any of your family or your friends, your guests, anyone that comes over can pick and choose whatever kind of muffin that they'd like. Oh, just think of the possibilities of the kind of muffins. Think of your favorite, favorite dessert uh, flavors and then pack them into one of these little cupcakes, little, these little muffins and I just think you're gonna be very happy with this muffin recipe. <laughs> I'm sure of it. I am. I love muffins. Oh, I love muffins. Don't call them cupcakes. They are muffins. Yes, and they are very special, as are you. I will see you guys so very soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye now, and Lord bless. <laughs>